What sight words and which order should you teach your students or children? Sight words can be defined as words that cannot be decoded, the, or high frequency words such as and. Let's look at a couple popular lists. In 1936, Edward Dolch put 220 words together, not counting 75 nouns that are listed separately, to help children to read and write. You have adjectives of color that are not lumped together. Themes was not important to him. As you can see with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, hmm, ten. <laughs> so his list was not, is not theme based. When I teach, I like to teach opposites, such as up, down. It makes it easy for children. If you're teaching on, off could be taught the next day, like turn the light switch on and off, not a year later. I'm not going to nitpick too much on this page because my real issue is this page. I am taught in two separate years. First person singular subject pronoun with a form of be a year later. We are. He or she should be with is. Unfortunately, he was not a grammarian. I would not use that list in school. Edward Fry put together a list of a thousand words, 10 blocks of a hundred words a piece. And I think this list is laughable. The first block has I. 500 words later, you'll see am. Shows you this is not a grammar based list. And you'll find a word like boy in the second block. And you'll have to go to the third block to find the word girl. So it's uh, opposites and genders are not important or equal according to this list. Block three, no, just so bad. Block four, look, look how bad this is. You have past tense regular verbs like covered and happened with CVC words like sun, red, and dog. Like, they're not of equal importance. Block five. Okay, now you have the words hot and government in the same block. If you're teaching uh, an adult English language learner, a three-year-old kid, maybe this list is for you. Uh-uh. Block six. More CBC words. Uh, you'll see the word sat along with syllables and instruments. So you can also teach plurals and contractions at the same time with uh, CBC words. Block seven. Okay, we have a continent in Africa, a reflexive pronoun in themselves, and a CVC word with cat. And bed, all together. All right, way to go. <laughs> Block eight has the word bad, just like this list. Uh, where's my CVC word win? Ah, I do see the short vowel I for skin, but no win because I saw the Vikings win this weekend. Block nine, the word Japanese and hat are of equal value. That's fun. Hey, fun is on that list too. All right, block 10 does have uh, the word win. <laughs> so this is obviously not grammar based, or word family or theme based but it does have the word smell. Now smell can be both good or bad. And this list stinks. So what list should you use? Well, when you look at a list, 
you don't just want to pick out uh, the most commonly used words in the English language because the would be number one. Uh, I prefer to use uh, I because when you use I and am, you can use an adjective like tall, I can, verb such as run, and I like plus a noun such as chocolates. Uh, every letter is a symbol and it goes to appropriate boxes to see if kids comprehend the written uh, words. My list is holistic, how it goes in several directions, but it's all tied together well. For instance, it's grammar based with high frequency. It has opposites. Uh, it has more of the high frequency words. Uh, grammar based, he, is, she, was, we, are. Then you'll find help story comprehension with who, what, where, when, why, and how numbers as a theme then of course you could see I go with uh, more opposites now oddball words you're gonna go heavy towards oddball words uh, from 81 to 180 when teaching word families uh, words that are generally spelled the same or pronounced the same but words like love dove move prove or some they're pronounced differently the ball ce rule does not apply to them. So whenever I was putting together my word family list, I had all the oddball words set aside and knowing that it helped my sight word list. Uh, so you can see uh, we go towards themes and plenty of oddball words. Now if you want to nitpick on my list saying swarm is not the 124th most important sight word, well when you use a pocket chart, war, war to warm and swarm for addition and deletion, it makes sense. Themes, oddball, 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 oddball. I really place a value on pronunciation and spelling. Pronunciation more so. EA pattern, theme, theme, AI pattern. You could download this list. I'll put a link below. Uh, GUE pattern, QE pattern, IEEI, -E more themes. And when you get to site words 261 to 510, commonly misspelled words in alphabetical order. Now, I recommend, if you have a few bucks, which you probably don't because you have a child, it means you're gonna be broke for the rest of your life. But don't worry, I have plenty of free information so you don't need these books. Sight words volume one, two, three, and 80 more difficult to spell words. The formula is pretty simple for these. You'll find word searches, word scrambles, fill in the blank, crosswords, space to write. But what makes these books special are the stories. Uh, now, if you don't have the money, no problem, because all you have to do is take the 10 words you're teaching and make a little story. I like creative writing, and maybe you do too, because if you do write, then skip these books. Because online, I have thousands, tens and thousands of worksheets for you, for sight words, word families, and grammar, that you could have uh, word searches and scrambled words that are great for homework or classroom. Uh, you always have parents want extra homework. It's all done for you. And plenty of files so it's interactive with the classroom to get kids to speak with, uh, with their fellow classmates and help with their reading and writing. So even if you use a Dolch and Fry sight word list, that can work. As long as you inspire a love of learning. I prefer my list because it's efficient. I want efficiency. That's why I have children the age as young as three and a half. They're the youngest published authors in the world. And that's because you, they're using my word list. All right, so as long as you inspire a love of learning, Yes, anything could work. But when kids get excited to read and write, you're a success. Hey, why not use my word list? It's all free, click down below. Because your child's education is more important than money in my pocket. Thank you.